Welcome back to Changeling the Dreaming, Hearts of Fire, Chapter 11. I just want to start out by saying I'm sorry these have been so hit and miss lately. It's just the holiday season. That's kind of how things shake out. It'll probably still be that way at least through the first of the year, but we'll do the best we can and uh, try to get things out when we can. And uh, Hopefully should be a little bit regular until Christmas season gets here. But... Let's go ahead and start getting into everything with that said. Uh, D, I think you're on the chopping block this time. Yep. About uh, letting us know what went down the last time, if you don't mind filling everybody in. Okay. Um, so, first of the episode, uh, Pamela called and met with uh, Carrie, Duchess Carrie. And um, they talked about the assassin. And... I don't remember if they talked about anything else. I know Carrie did not take it very well. Was it, I mean, she didn't take it horrible, but she didn't take it very great either. She was not empathetic to Pamela's. She was like, "You gotta, you gotta situation. keep me in the loop with this shit." Yeah. yeah. I didn't trust. But then she also said, "Don't talk to me until after the vote." So yeah. I'm like, "I which do you want?" <laughs> okay, but so that happened. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, my notes. Uh, oh, you're fine. Went off here. Um, Morgan and Julio made up uh, and had to get away from uh, racists at uh, Fat Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Julio popped the question. Yes. Oh, yeah. And so that's happening. Uh, Varix was uh, Bone and Gale. Mm -hmm. As you do. Yes. And then Gail came for breakfast the next day. And Dan made breakfast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dan did make breakfast. <laughs> it was terrible. He made Pop-Tarts. Yes. He tried. An instant coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Gail was just kind of wanting to get the lowdown. And um, everybody... Varix made a very impassioned speech uh, on going for war, going to war. Uh, Dan gave the idea to Pamela that, hey, maybe we can just get an assassin to take care of my elk. As opposed to bending the knee, you're going to war. And Pamela was like, that's a great idea, Dan. Um, Varix called Sally uh, just to kind of see what was going on on that end and what more could be done with that. And she was like, well, if you get anything else, uh, come down to Georgia and share it with me. So he went to Blue Springs. And he found a locket that had a picture of Giselle when she was younger with King Mog. And it very much insinuated a mentor-mentee type relationship. So that was kind of like a smoking gun mm -hmm. that he had been looking Father, for. Father-daughter. Yes. Right. Something close. Something whatever, like that. Whatever it is, close enough to carry a damn locket around. Yes. With mm -hmm. that in it. Exactly. Um, meanwhile, uh, Pamela visited Kyle and Crescent. Because in the discussion, that everybody was like, let's go with assassination. But if we're going to go with assassination, we need to kind of make it look like we're going to sue for peace. That way, when dude, you know, gets... Um, it was like, oh, how awful! You know, we were going to, you know... Right. You know how that is. Kyle was relieved and Crescent was like, oh, good for y'all. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm bouncing. Going to New York. Um, and then Pamela went to visit... M Mike. Just to check in on my buddy Mike, who I was always <sighs> suspicious of. And um, apparently Mike is the Slua. Well, there is a real Mike, but he's out of town. Or whatever. Just or not there. The he's not there. Oh. The Slua claims he's out of town. He hasn't been harmed and he's coming back. Mm -hmm. Now, he could be full of shit. I don't know. But he's basically like, yes, I will assassinate Malik for you. You have to give me the reverie. <laughs> and then be my fucking employee. And Pamela was like, no. Fuck you. But then she was like, I'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Just so he wouldn't kill her. Yeah. To be honest. And um, Morgan called Dominic and Julia's. And they're, she's trying to get them to come down. Because <clears throat> at this point, we didn't know exactly what was going on. Mm -hmm. And we thought she thought we might need some backup. Yeah. Or there might be some information that they had. Because Julia has a lot of remembrance. Or Dominic may have connections that he's made as a prince. Or if nothing else, he can go to people and be like, I'm a fucking prince. Fucking mm. do this. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and she has a weekend camera camp. Julia is coming. Dominic's family left her on read. So she's got a... I don't know how that's going to go. And then 
we ended up talking about all the options. Morgan looked into the future with Omen. And if we go with assassination, um, we it looks like that we're going to lose the reverie. Is what it appears to. But we're but left alone. We're dungeon. left alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we go with Sally, we're going to get our asses handed to us. Because King David is a dipshit <laughs> and doesn't want to do his fucking job. Fuck them Arcadians. <laughs> I'm sorry if you want to be high king. You got to put your big boy pants on and do the damn job. If you don't want to do it and go into retirement, let somebody else take over. But whatever. Probably dead. Well, then somebody else needs to step the fuck up. Yeah. Instead of being a little piss ant in your freehold. There was a third option that we did not look into. Um, what was it? Well, the third option, te- technically, we you looked into whether if we did one or the other. That is true. Not did both. That's true. Correct. So we don't know what the fuck happens if we do both. <clears throat> Man, our group chat was fucking on fire the day after. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I brought in another hour. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. sorry My fu- I was like, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I had to like silence everything. I was just like, stop, sorry. please, quit. Sorry. It's your fault. But I know. That's fine. Yeah. I did my job. Oh, uh, yeah, because uh, I was like, well, why don't we get Grace to assassinate him? And then, it, but I don't know that oh, we're... Yeah. <laughs> There was a lot of places. I wanted, this went. I'm sorry. I wanted. I wanted murder for free. I yes. just. It doesn't sit she well was with me. Trying to come up with. All yeah, and that was a big. That was the yes. uh, the big argument. Yes. I just, and then I, we were trying to figure out if, uh, if Morgan was a sealy or unsealy after that. Uh, yeah. She's she's straddling the line. Pretty pretty yeah. hard, but she always does. I mean, she's she's yeah. Helskaha <laughs> is the fence straddler on that one. Yeah. So just like that, I'm super sealy. I'm very sealy, but let's seriously get. Oh Grace no, to she's just... never super sealy. She's only kind of eh, sealy on a good day. Yeah. So I, she's 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 sealy with Julio. <laughs> that even sounds more unsealy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, you got I'm only that acting ring. this way when I'm with you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Otherwise, like, chop if them dicks. you can't dicks. handle me yeah. and my own Sealy, you don't deserve <laughs> me and my Sealy. <laughs> God, I need that on a shirt now. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I mean, you know what? I don't know what his Unsealy legacy is. He might be oh, into that shit. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Morgan's is the beast. Yeah. The beast. He might think that's hot. I don't know. I forgot. Is he? I don't know. <laughs> curious now keep going <laughs> keep going i'm just looking at okay i think I, that was about i think it. that was about it yeah. okay that now, was a good synopsis now we're sitting there going it's a very good synopsis we're going, what is he was julio <laughs> then we got sidetracked again yeah same as yours oh, oh power couple that was not that was not uh on purpose but is that know. the beast uh-huh the beast <laughs> yeah so all right that would explain things <laughs> Uh, so, where do we begin, is the question for you all. Normally, I give a introduction, and I tell you where we start. <clears throat> but things are being put in place that will affect the Reverie, Eureka, the Duchy, and potentially the Kingdom forever so it's not my place to say right now who's doing what we left off are uh, we like in the kitchen talking. essentially like talking? pretty much i think we I think were all in the kitchen talking much. about it about yep. the reverie and yep. we were discussing yep that's so that's it would have it. been our three characters and julio talking and that's about where it. we are now where's dan i mean dan would be there too oh. yeah i'm assuming or he's gossiping with randall i don't remember everybody's around Let's put it that way. Okay. There were things that I did mark down that you all talked about, and I think um, some of them, just from your synopsis, are kind of like, eh, maybe not, like Dominic's parents, um, seeing as in light of what's been discussed now. Uh, calling Carrie again. Well, yeah, you, you need to call her. She's going to be pissed if you don't. 
Um, she, she, said, said, no. she said not until the vote. And then Morgan was going to talk to Julio to about being Ska. Yes. And then they got a baby appointment at some point. Yeah. So. A baby appointment. Yeah, they got to go see the. Well, actually, it's oh, not. The, it's, oh, my it's God. Not actually, it's <laughs> actually, Side quest. It's not over the stomach. but. Oh, oh you <laughs> get the that. magic wand. Yeah. The raper fiddle. I'm going to tell you something. When you don't know that that's what's happening. And they just whip that out? No, they go in and they're like, okay, take everything off from the waist down. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Buy me sure? drinks first? Yeah. <laughs> so, you just, I was so fucking confused. No, man, she hit me right here. Yeah. <laughs> that was a big Lebowski reference. Oh. <laughs> I hope Ryan yeah. got it at least. I did. I did. I, did. I get that. I actually understood that. So, no, the, the, the choice is yours. Um, I'm merely but the person to tell you the effect of the causes you create. Could I text Carrie? <clears throat> Does she have a text number? Yes. Oh, what would you like to text? Need to talk. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? It's... <laughs> what? It's innocuous enough. It lets her know that I know I'm not supposed to, but something's kind of big. Can you send her enough. a hey with three Y's? Hey, something came up. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hey, hey um, you're going to want to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> if we could talk, that would be great. I love how we all talk like Sally now when something like that's coming up. Um... I certainly can. I'm worried now. She said don't contact her. I don't want this to be seen as like some sort of collusion if things go wrong. Um, But is she going to be more mad that you didn't contact her about this? She is, but I don't know if a text is way to go. Or, I think I'll just call her. Question. Call her. I'm going to call her. Question. Okay. Do we not want to tell her at all? And then when he gets assassinated, just be like, what a happy surprise! <laughs> No, because oh, she no. knows she go. knows about the slua and if okay. he just oh, happens. That's, oh, that's right, that's yeah, right. Okay, yeah. She'd be like, "What the fuck did you do?" Not and a... I don't, I don't really want to piss her off again. What well, had to be done? Yeah. <laughs> bitch. Uh, yeah, I'll call her. Fuck it. Okay, so you call, and it rings, it rings, it rings, and it goes to voicemail. This is scary. I'm going to call the number. So you call the number back. Mm-hmm. Are you leave, Well, it said leave a message, and she'd call you back. Oh, she said call a number. I thought she meant different. This, she said this number, yeah. Oh, okay. Message. Well, my message is going to be update on that thing we talked about. Okay. And that's it. <clears throat> all right. I don't want someone else to <laughs> I mean, hear it. I mean, in all honesty, what are you supposed to say? Hey, I got an hey, offer to assassinate Miles. the assassin Mild. is going to kill King Mild. <laughs> how, about, how about that? <laughs> I mean. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. So that message has been left. Cool. Um, it's time for me to start fucking. Fucking? <laughs> no. It's the end of the game, baby. We gotta get the fucking going. <laughs> she's gonna start saying been goodbye. Been pure to far too long. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, she's like. Oh, Where's that this horse is going at? Bad. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so you're doing an emotional montage, that is of, like touching, touching the curtains. Yes, all the things I design from this one place extreme I to the other. Does it look like you're in a Zoloft commercial? Uh, like staring out the window. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's very sad. Yes, she's in her feels because right. she knows what she has to do. And you? Well, um. Sorry, if my chewing's coming through, oh, no, I'm, you're, getting, you're I'm right. getting a boba like a leaf. Um, so, I almost want to go talk to Gail. Kinda. Gail is there. Oh, well, oh. I need to talk to Gail about this thing about going to Atlanta. 
because uh-huh. I have this locket. I, I've already called Sally about you know yeah taking this locket to Atlanta. Well, she uh-huh. didn't know about the locket. She just she just knows. She just said if you find anything else, I don't yes. think you should go. To you have Atlanta. not contacted her about, about the locket. About the locket. I don't or anything think you should at this point. Yeah, we had had a conversation prior to you finding it, and that right. was the extent of it. So I haven't told her that I have anything. No, correct. correct. Not at but this point. If I find anything, I should should, should go to Atlanta. So mm-hmm. I, I yes, I know that if we only do the locket thing, what that entails. I know that if we don't do the locket thing and only do the assassin thing, what that entails. I want to talk to Gail about what happens if you do I both. do this, and because they're gonna, you guys are gonna set this assassin thing in motion. Like, I think it's all right. You guys are pretty much already set on that. I don't think there's much that Varric's can even necessarily do to try to convince you otherwise. You tried to convince us to do it. Well, I know that's a thing anyways. Oh, okay. Pamela just... Well, definitely the assassin over getting Grace to kill him. (laughs) Sorry, that was a group chat thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. So... (laughs) Yeah, Pamela's stance is we should do only the assassin because if we do both, we risk things getting out of hand and something being unpredictable. So as of right yeah. now, before you've talked to Gail, because Gail may look at something. What like, we're going to do is get someone to predict it. Yeah. yeah so but, it won't be unpredictable. Well, yes. keep and in mind, we'll because, because Morgan has, <laughs> because Morgan's already looked at it. It's going to be muddy. It's going to be muddy even if Gail looks at it. Anybody yes. else that it's looks if you at both, it. If so two people can look at the same thing. Yes. And it gets muddy. Yes. yes. It's not like your version of it. Right. Yeah. So that's also because you're Pam actually because you're working with the same tapestry of fate. Mm-hmm. Even if basically messing so, with it. So mm-hmm. it's not as picky as like you were looking at a version where we only did one or the other. I'm gonna. She's looking at on. a version where we're doing both. Ryan's and gonna check. I will double a check. Difference. Yeah, I don't the, know how specific it is. The most fair it is. thing we can do. Yeah. Because so, I would also like to know, but. Me. I also don't want to see something that's so muddled that we're like, yeah, let's do it, and then somebody fucking dies. Yep, yeah, but I also don't want this whole situation to be a big, annoying red herring where I went on a goddamn wild goose chase for bullshit mm-hmm. and, and we wasted if we, and wasted if, like two sessions worth of like <laughs> time doing like I don't know that it was a garbage waste. for no, like just now just for the assassin to be the no, guy who goes shows back part, up and says, hey. I can I fix it. everything right now. It. The first Hi. part, <laughs> well, like, you know, was she's supposed to be fixing the Nucklevy situation for you. That was in exchange for the journal. But she yeah. was showing up before the Nucklevy anyways. Um, yeah. Considering that she was telling Pamela about the Nucklevy, I'm willing to bet she already knew that I, already showed up. Yes, but I, we... It does not... You, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Um... Yeah. If you recall, the episode called Sally Forth, where Sally Forth was never mentioned once, <laughs> was, was we because yes. of the Knucklevy. And and like I we and Sally Forth didn't show up. We did all this stuff because the Knucklevy mm-hmm. showed up. Sally Forth was already in the picture. She was going to show oh, okay. up and I do see, all I that see, stuff before the Knucklevy what, ever okay. became a thing. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like she didn't show up to save us from the Knuckle V. She was going to be there to do it anyways. It just so happens that the Knuckle V was also there. Okay. And she okay. could provide help with that. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So, rules mechanics wise, uh, all it says is multiple castings upon the same target within a single story, which is what we are in the same, mm-hmm. same story. Cumulatively, cumulatively cost one additional point of glamour with each repeated casting as the threads of Dan become increasingly tangled. So all it says is mechanically it gets harder to do. Oh, okay. Not that you don't get as much. All right, Gail, go. Go, go, go. I got some draws. You need some draws? <laughs> <laughs> you need to sleep? By the so you're, you're telling... Y'all are all like, yeah, look into it, look yes, into please. it. Yeah. Because we just need to know like what happens. What are you wanting to know from her specifically? I want it? to know what's going to happen or what can be entailed if we do the assassination and, and I also evidence. turn this evidence in. Okay. Particularly what's going to happen with this evidence part. Right. <laughs> I hope that was a good hand. Yeah. She don't know. 
she can't see. God damn it, Gail! She didn't botch, but... <laughs> Morgan? Well, roll them up! You can. Yeah. Um, It'll cost you we're additional blame. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I just she said, said we're, we're, breaking we're, we're breaking up. She says it's hard to say. It's hard to say. It goes a million directions. Pamela's doing that Oprah gif where she's like... <laughs> she's like, we just need to do the assassin. Okay? Um... The, you said it costs additional glamour and uh-huh. um that's it oh it, the, the difficulty doesn't go up mm-hmm. yes I nope did. okay um it's a base difficulty eight you're in a freehold so it'd be seven okay and i'm um, cat is it Faye? yes okay so then that's my affinity so uh-huh six nice nice okay glamour yeah you have to spend it no, 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 no. I'm, I'm debating on the willpower. Do uh, it. We need it. This is a big deal. I've got to sleep after this. I literally cannot. I, I only have It is late. Hours. Okay. So. Okay. I will spend a willpower. Yay! Right. Okay. Morgan is extremely nervous about doing this. She shouldn't have been... Uh, four successes. Oh boy. Ah, yes, yes. All right. So it spreads out okay. before you. There are a lot of ways this could go. Um, what you consistently see coming back that affects you all personally mm-hmm. is that war is not declared on this duchy. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people come to question. A lot of people that have different motivations. Uh, A lot of eyes are on you all. Because Myog goes missing. And then this evidence shows up shortly thereafter. No one wants him back Mm -hmm. after that's been revealed. At least not publicly. But the duchy is forever looked upon with suspicion. We kind of are. Are we kind of waving a banner like, hey, we got a Fomorian down here? Not, not, (laughs) maybe, maybe not. Yeah. That's not what you looked into. Um, But what you do, but but what you do understand is that the duchy is underestimated no longer ever. But for for better or for worse. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of like House Kaha in a way. Mm-hmm. You're gonna love us, or you're gonna hate us. Right. right. People probably don't trust us. But and come you can see probably us. De- like, you no. can probably you know suss out where people's lines would be drawn with that based on you know Seely Unseely Shadow Court mm-hmm. those type things. There's several divides. You know, Unseelie, there may be certain sides of Unseelie, certain houses that are like, no, screw him, he's gone. Others are like, oh, this is a shame. Those that subscribe to the Shadow Court are outright enraged. Um, consequences of that, to be determined. But not war. But not war. But if you're dealing with Shadow Court and they're trying to bring a Formorian back, you don't want a bunch of Shadow Court. Hanging around. Hanging around. So these are the, that's the type of people that would come and kill you, kill you with cold iron in your sleep. Right. Okay. Like that's not what you want to be fucking with. So <laughs> it it begs the question. The one that gives the most out of what you see, the one that gives you the most righteousness to your cause, mm-hmm. is turning over the evidence and mild disappearing. If you want to remain out of it, mm-hmm. having my old disappear seems to be that way. And if you want everyone to start looking at you all with suspicion and distrust and... And don't we get the things, hammer brought down on us? And the hammer brought down on you. 
So you saying he disappears? That's what the slew is gonna do? I mean, he's, he's gonna... killing him, but nobody knows what happens to him. He's just gone. Right. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a fucking body on the ground. No. Somebody finds him. Mm-mm. Oh, it's too much evidence to well, who did this? And That's da, 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 true. you know, and then there's well, who murdered? And that yeah. comes clear as you start to glean information from what you, you know, uh, Sooth said previously, is that in both of these visions, yes, he is just not around. He has disappeared much like High King David did yeah. in everyone's mind. Mm-hmm. But as far as being the heroes and suffering the consequences of your action, most heroic option, turn it, do both. Um, if you only, if he only disappears, well, that situation disappears as well, but it doesn't make this duchy gain its freedom. It doesn't. I thought we said that we separated. We'd be left alone. Well, you're left alone. Oh, yes, okay. I'm sorry. So we're not um, independent, but we're also not under scrutiny. Right. I, l- let okay, me clar- let you, me clarify you. that. And if I'd said that last session, I've, I I gravely I, I, I could be. I, and I and I'm those sure that are the wording was left alone. Oh, okay. that's okay. when I was right. like, yes, cool, you're like not that. you're not granted independence. Yes. In any of these visions. Yeah. Okay. So just. However, it could be argued that your cause would m- more would more likely be given consideration and get your independence if you went with option three, the one you just We don't foretold. need independence if he's dead. However, however, it also comes with the most baggage. <clears throat> yes. Well, because and- people will know where these artifacts came from when they're turned over. From Giselle. She shouldn't have come here. Well, but here's the thing, though. Um, don't most people come here to get away from right. everything? So they we've do. basically just bombed the ref, you know, the refuge from the political. Oh yeah, I wouldn't get people coming to the refuge. It would. Much. It would not. It would no longer be the oasis that you wanted. Oh, right. But, That's what I care about. But the thing is, is that that oasis has always been a lie. Why? Because. Yeah. There's always had some reason for people to be here. There's always been a mysterious reason why people sh- show up. The Fomorians were going to show up because they found out what it is about this place. You mean the this line. isn't? Yes, yeah. this isn't a whatever. This isn't a quiet, sleepy town. It never has been. But it has the appearance of a quiet, it has sleepy town. The appearance town. of it because we've been not in t- not mali- not maliciously, I run a bed and but not it's maliciously. It's almost like you but, like, dreamed and wished it was that way. Yes, <laughs> but you're coming to the realization that Pamela. this town is not the well, quiet, sleepy, getaway true. town. It isn't. But it isn't that. if you have a portal to a Fomorian, what better place to hide it than a little backwater nothing? Wouldn't that be more protected as opposed to having that out in the open? Sure, but I mean, I knew about it. Giselle knew about it. Other people, I mean, how do we not know that there aren't other Thelane right now that don't already know about it? They may, the Shadow Court might already know about it. You know of at least five individuals that know about it. So you're saying if we make it public, then they're less there's, likely to act because there's more eyes on it, is what you're it saying. It could be that there's more eyes on it. There might be more protection for it. If more houses of Seely and Unseely that don't want the the shadow court and the you know all that to they might put eyes on it because they know of its importance and that we do not need the lane showing up instead of being like why did giselle and Miles? why do they care about this small little sleepy town why do they care so much about it now people know why they care about it and they realize what it is about this town why it needs to be protected and at the same time, it's going to bring eyes on why people are like, we need to get there so we can get what's out of it. But those people may have already known about it. Who knows? Then we might get questions of, if you knew this was here, why didn't you say something? Because we've known about it for six months now. They may be like, that's all Didn't I put out? I, I put that out, though. To only this, this Gahan, Well, they don't need know. to be asking that just of us. Because we just found, we technically had found out about it. Whereas the... Um, people from Little Rock, the council. Yeah, they really should have known. They're about the it. ones that would be the ones getting questioned. 
That is true. They should be the ones getting questioned. Carrie should be getting questioned. Whoever else, they, because they also are protecting well, and this. Keep area. in mind, the only people that knew about it before were Nunehi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is an ancient. And the Nunehi are the ones that are guarding it. Or what? had been. Uh, what's their opinion on it? They're they not around to ask anymore. Well, I mean, I didn't know if Pamela could dream and communicate with him. And possibly, white folks kind of drove him out of here, though. I mean, true. I just, I didn't, I didn't know if they're like in the pool, though. Like, if, if, the, if you can try to communicate with them, and they'd be like, "Fuck no!" Don't well, be that doing was that. in the dreaming. True, yeah. but I, I mean, mean, the dreaming, I could barely understand them too. I just don't. I don't know. So if we come out with all the evidence and say there's also a Fomorian in Blue Springs. Well, we don't have to say we that. We don't have to tell anybody that there's a Fomorian in Blue Springs. Uh, that will why be... are we bringing it up? I'm just saying that it's there and we're going to have to keep people from trying to bring it back. And I don't know if it's a better cover to have more eyes on it so well, that they I, don't... I thought we were saying it's there because people are going to ask why was Giselle there? I mean, it may come out in that process. Y'all keep yeah. talking about um, I mean, we're doing the evidence thing because of King Mild. At I, first, it was a situation of should we do this? Is this a way to get Mild off our back, or should we have him assassinated? Yeah. But now, it's a situation where it's like you know, adding insult to injury in a way. I, I'm just worried about how it will affect Eureka. I know the uh, vision said that. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna bring a lot of people. It sounds like everybody with different intentions. Yeah, it seems which like... didn't the assassin? But didn't you guys just say that it's gonna not bring people? I don't know. No, that's if we just do the assassination. Oh, we just do the assassination. We're left the f alone. We're under the radar. We're no under the radar. Knows. We're still the little backwater hick town. We if still we, got a Fomorian. We still got a Fomorian. But there's fewer people who know about it, probably. Like, yes. bad people. And anybody that shows up and starts acting suspicious about it are more likely to be spotted because there's not very many people around, so what the fuck is you doing type thing. But if we have... If we do both... If we air out all the dirty laundry... Well, we don't even have to tell them. It just... It may or may not come out in the process, but... It increases the chances of them. It doesn't increase the chance, but at the same time, if there's lots of people that are around, anybody that wants to do anything has got to be more careful about it. You know what I mean? And there may be more chances to for them to get caught, but... This gives... The, this gives a name to the town. Like, this... Yes. This... Not on like Ryan said. Yes. People, people will know. Yes. But there may be maybe a situation where people will know not to f with us. That's true. He did say that we would not be underestimated. Yeah. Again, uh, I wonder when he because oh, the back. whole deal with this why the whole reason Grace showed up the whole reason why everyone even did all this stuff is because nobody just, knew no one they, knew they, they were like oh it's just some small hick town I'm just gonna go build a mansion well Grace with, showed up because Giselle told her to I thought. yes but Giselle, but exact but that that doesn't that's my point they they thought nothing of this town and it's holding this great power they don't even know what they've got and ah, we'll just send some people in and we'll under the radar and Giselle, everything will be fine oh okay yeah, no yeah, yeah. Get it. Okay. Yeah, because nobody's going to be paying attention. It's not like you're going to have the court going, what the fuck you doing over there? Gotcha. Exactly. You know. So now, having a bigger name to the to the town, I mean, it seems like we would know, like, this is what, you see what happens, Larry? You know? <laughs> <laughs> when you find a stranger in the Alps? Yeah. Um, this is what happens. Like, I have a question. Uh-huh. Can, uh, do we know, because we know that the Shadow Court is going to be royally pissed, and they're going to know that it's us with the middle option, the one we just looked at. The, one, the one you just looked at. Yes. Okay. Um, do we know what <clears throat> that might entail? Like, can we do the politics role to see, like... Yes. Okay. It's going to be difficulty 10. Okay, that's fine. Because Shadow Court is... Very secretive Very by secretive, and it's in Atlanta... Can we all check? And, uh, yeah. I have three politics. Uh, it would be, 
Intelligence? Uh, yeah. Okay. Plus politics. Difficulty 10. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna I might as well try. Do what? I, I gained it back because I succeeded last okay. time, so I'm spinning uh, it again. I'm not going to let you. Okay. Because it's so hard. Because it's so okay. hard. How many tens do One. Need? Okay. <laughs> uh, none so far. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I got one! All right. <laughs> I botched. Did you? Okay. Well, you just don't know. So it's not like your head explodes or anything. You just or you tell it. us the exact wrong thing. Yeah, it's just you had have a, the mm-hmm. fa- the foggiest clue. So, uh, yeah, we got we were talking about her not botching. So that's what happens when D can't spin <laughs> willpower. She botches. <laughs> um, so it's not much. You just you generally know that you can make a logical conclusion that you've already foiled their plans. This has probably been decades in the making with the disappearance. I just of high- failed. I can't botch politics rolls. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Okay, so um, that you have messed up a plan that probably took a lot of learning, a lot of doing, and a lot of manipulation to get to the point that it did, um, and you messed that up. And Miles' assassin being here was only the first toe in the water. However, it looks like people weren't as loyal to him as maybe he thought. So that makes you conclude that they're probably all pissed, but they probably have different levels of pissed offness about it. If you give another thing for them to be pissed off about or happy about, depending on who they are, of with mm-hmm. Miles' disappearance and it pointing back that the duchy also exposed Milg for being a member of the Shadow Court. And on top of that, working in conjunction with the lane to raise a, a Fomorian, well, that's going to have to drive them underground, but who's to say that they won't definitely hold a grudge of some sort? It's possible. You don't even know names. You're just, this is what I'm giving you, trying to put pieces together in your mind, you two talking but you know are all three of you talking mm-hmm. sure. five of you talking really um uh, kind of determining deciphering what you can um there's just a lot of unknowns you're so far away from that center of the political world it's like us talking about what politicians are planning in washington dc we have information yeah. but we we aren't in the room where it happens um Room I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, I only just saw Hamilton um, recently. Sorry, everyone. It's okay. Um, so. <laughs> I know it's been out a long time. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's one of those things that you don't know. Are people going to be mad? Yeah. Um, but people are going to be mad that Miles gone anyway. But not mad at all. And then some people are going to be real happy he's gone. Yeah. And then some people, so you've got this, you've got this vacuum and really the question comes down to, do you want this, do you want this power struggle to happen or do you, without messing with what you've got now, do you want or to be do part you, of it or not part or of it? Or not part of it. That's really what it comes down to. Playing your hand here definitely paints you guys as heroes to the people, aka Seely that Pamela would probably side with. Mm-hmm. Um, so you would have that support. The houses that you would expect to raise their banners in defense against something like that would rally to her side. Conversely, the enemies that you make from this are to be expected as well, but they're a little more underground. This whole story has been about making sacrifices to be heroes and to be the leader that we were supposed to be. Every time we're asked to become leaders, everyone is looking at us like, are you the person that we were expecting you to be? Or you're not ready yet. Oh, we need someone to actually give us some plans and to actually do something, but you're not doing anything, this, that, and the other. If we decide that all we want to do is just like 
sneak by and let him get killed and be like, oh, he didn't do anything at all. Yes, that does give us an easier out to be able to, oh, we can just live our life and do all this stuff. But then we didn't become leaders. We didn't become the we didn't become what we were set out to be in in the visions and all of that stuff. I think that's your character. I don't think that's Pamela. Pamela has always been the one. Pamela has her. always been pushed into a leader role that she never wanted to begin with. She's okay with it, but she. But she never wanted it, right? She never thought she could do it, but in her mind, this would be being a leader because she's keeping the peace of where she is, and it's not just the reverie. It's the the mortals in Eureka. It's protecting their future. She's thinking of Kyle and how scared he was of going to war. If we do this, I she doesn't need the title of hero, and I'm glad that leader did this, and we're going to rally. To her, the more satisfying and safe and right thing to do is to keep peace. So that's why she's leaning towards assassination. But she could be convinced toward the other one because she does like the idea of being like, we took a stand. She... What she's nerve apprehensive about is how it's going to affect the people that she knows in well, the future. Well, then we can do this. I have the evidence. I can take this to, to Sally, and I can say, I went against you guys to find this information. They didn't want to have any part of this. This was nothing to do with them. I went about this all myself. I broke into Grail's, to Grace's place. I found the information. I was working you with broke Sally. You all right. <laughs> I did break into <laughs> No, she let you in. It was consensual. Yeah, I didn't mean yeah, it like yeah. that. I just meant. <laughs> no, I get you. She 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 crept the door and I kicked it down. <laughs> so, uh, but we can easily do this to where I I'll be the the mole that infiltrated Eureka to find this information for my house. This was for me. I did it because that's what I wanted to do. But it's I have going to change the actual outcome. I have a reputation. See, that makes when you put it that way, Pamela and also, realizes that makes her the bad guy by saying, "Like I didn't want to do it," and that makes her a coward. So she's like, "I, I see your point now." Okay, so now she's be. now she's you that was kind of convincing because I, when, and he is very convincing. Yes, when you put it that way, it's like, "Oh, why the fuck didn't she do it?" But she would be okay with it if nobody knew. But she's realizing that you're right. We need to make a stand for bigger than just this little city. I almost said little titty. (laughs) (laughs) But (laughs) so that was a good reframing for her. I'm sorry. I'm like five apparently. I'm sorry. Jeez. So yeah, she's she's more open to that now. If She's you're just standing in the middle of the road, you only get hit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You have to choose a side. If you guys are willing to f- possibly... And no choice is a choice. If y'all are willing to live here and help protect... Or defend that Fremorian from getting risen or whatever the fuck. I don't know why I can't grab her right now. It's okay. I was doing that early. Shield it from rising. Be- being revived or yes. resurrected. Yeah. I think that will be our new role. And I would do that with you guys. Because Julio the vision didn't say we're going to get fucked up. Nods his head up, in agreement. Because so. the other part of this too I is have no choice. What? I'm, I mean. <laughs> what Ryan mentioned about in the vision about the shadow cords going to be pulled underground. Yes, they're going to be they're going to they're going to probably be in the future like scheming up some way and it could be decades in the future cuz this yes. plan took decades exactly. or it could be tomorrow, who knows. But the thing but is we didn't is that get we get ganked in the vision. Right. Well, we have to it doesn't we still have to be ready for them. Yes. Because and and what we did helped everybody because we exposed and got rid of a member of the shadow court that was hiding in plain sight in their little government in atlanta like he was doing all of that and being you know under the guise that he was a regular ass per you know you know what i mean Mm -hmm. an asshole but everyone's like oh he's the king and we exposed him and and showed a corruption in there yeah so yes we're we're essentially doing 
like the heroic thing and we're standing up for that or are we just you know we're like oh he died oh he died that's oh, crazy that's crazy oh wow. she passed away Oof. oh well we got bath we got bath soaps <laughs> candles come to candles. every nothing weird here <laughs> we got a weird magician that'll mm, yeah don't talk to him don't talk to him yeah <laughs> all right So Julio says, so what are we doing? Looks like and Gail's we're... like nodding, like, oh. like I... waiting for your, you know. I think Varix is taking a trip and I'm visiting the magic shop. Do I need to wait for Carrie to call me back? I feel like this supersedes Carrie, uh, to be honest, well, the, if the, we're going this you're, route. You're, you got to see him tomorrow. Is so it tomorrow? She, yeah. Oh. Well, the other mm-hmm. thing, too, is that I have... I mean, this is something that I may hold off on Atlanta, going to Atlanta until you talk to Carrie as well, because this might be another situation where if Carrie's going to be mad at you about everything that else has happened. She's probably going to be mad at you if she ends up finding out that something had happened in Atlanta oh, where we might have oh, exposed yeah. some information yeah, that she, she didn't know about. She talks to Carrie. And she's like, and oh, Varix is, uh, <laughs> he's on his way. He's yeah, on his he's way. He's already right. in That's, the process of uh, it. You're too late. Um, <laughs> and also, too, you might need to give the assassin time to get there as a well. head start. Sure. Because you know. don't want him to disappear while you're Because in, in the vision, it was he disappeared bad. and then the evidence came out. Well, the other thing, too, is that I can get there and I'll hang out in Atlanta with my house or whatever in Sally, holding on to this information. And then once the information reaches Atlanta that he's gone missing, mm, you can be like, then oh, we guess also, what? you know. Guess what else about this messy bitch? Now that he's gone, yeah. I can tell the truth. Yeah. Hashtag Shadow Mild or whatever. Or even, like, um... you know, we'll put it on Twitter. <laughs> Cancel him. Would would uh, <laughs> Sally even take it though if he goes? Mis- you know what? I don't know. I'm overthinking uh-huh. this. I'm. <sighs> I was because I was thinking, do we just need to give him a head start and then you go give it to Sally? Or we? I can talk to Sally about it before while he's still alive, and we can discuss with her when the best appropriate time to let this information. And you kind of drag is. that out until she's in a better with the poli- with the political oh, angle yeah. of it. I just don't trust her. Of course not, but if she's I, technically a part of my house, then... Is. I'm just, I'm scared she's going to screw you over. But you're better equipped to deal with her, so... She can screw me over, but I'll make sure she's, as long as she doesn't screw over... It's like, I'll screw her back. <laughs> Talk to Gail. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know... It, as long as it doesn't screw over the, like, doesn't screw over Eureka, <laughs> or the duchy, or whatever, you know. Or too many floats, unduly. No. Okay. But I'll I think I'll probably call back. wait until. About thirty minutes passes and the phone does ring. Oh, good. Hello. Pamela. Yes. You want you will want to know this. Let's meet up. It's urgent. Fifteen minutes. You know where. Yes. <laughs> that was not Pamela. No, it's definitely <laughs> Pamela. It's definitely Pamela. She hangs at the phone. Who was that then? Carrie. What? Pass the luck. What? What? She's going to be pissed. Uh, she's going to be more pissed than what I was saying. We haven't actually done anything yet. She told you not to call her. She said to keep her in the loop. <laughs> she can have one way or the other. You cannot win with her. Yeah, exactly. She's in a tight spot, and she wants so to be I. mad at someone. So That's what I reckon. Well, she needs to be mad, and she can't be mad at us about not giving her the information this time. Mm-hmm. We gave her the information. Oh, I, I. This is a little bigger than that. So This is going to set into motion things that 
will change. And in change. all honesty, she shouldn't be mad about the last time because the leak was somewhere over on that end. Exactly. How could Pamela give that information and be confident that it wasn't going to get leaked out? Uh, don't be mad at me. I'm not. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm upset because Dan's saying it, and that means Ryan's saying it. So I'm like, oh, shit. I just no. It's not <laughs> Ryan <laughs> saying it. Who's, who's, who's Ryan? Ryan? I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan just imparts wisdom sometimes, but he doesn't always. He like gave putting me the shites on the sweet bread. And you listen to a fucking imaginary crow <laughs> to be about fair, what you should do for your whole three tarts. holes. To and be... I burn pop tarts and I kind of make and coffee. To be fair, he also gave you the idea to use to, to kill Mild with an assassin. Exactly. Don't let, him, <laughs> Just like... don't let Dan bullshit you. He knows way more than he lets he knows on. A shit no, though. I don't. Yes, I don't do. know anything about anything. <laughs> yes, he blatantly he gave the end game idea. Yes, <laughs> No, I gave a possibility. What the good one. The best one. I'm trying to make you smart. <laughs> In politics, <laughs> which you lack, all of you. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. I'm glad you're here. I will save you. I had to put up with a skaha for how many years? <laughs> they don't know anything about politics. They're too fucking stupid to figure it out. I'm saying it to your face. <laughs> And I challenge you to rebut me in any way. <laughs> she got nothing. <laughs> she got nothing. Oh, she's no, she's her pulling dice. the dice out. <laughs> she's gonna lie. Be like, no, we're not. <laughs> Roll for finality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never mad. <laughs> um, hang on. I don't know what I want to do because I can't hit it. No, I if I hit him. No. <laughs> oh my god. He's it gonna would, kill it the, would, it would, kill no, the he's wisdom. dream form. He's dream form. But uh, what is it gonna be like a Looney Tunes kind of thing? <laughs> it could be. Oh, now I know what she does. She just walks up to her room and he starts hearing that dick crystal start moving. No, <laughs> no, my pet. <laughs> start hearing the window opening. No, <laughs> Pamela, don't let her. Borgen. What did you say? What did you What did you just say to me? I don't remember, but it was probably something I shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. You got about um, five seconds. I said I'm sorry. Just now. <laughs> Four. I'm sorry. Dan, you can't do that while she's pregnant. You know so much about politics, and you're so smart and pretty. <laughs> and also, did you do something new with your hair? <laughs> You look like you got the glow of the baby. And uh, that's really cute. I can see why Julio loves you and wants to marry you. And also, I think you got a new soap that really agrees with your skin because it's clearing up that rash you had. You didn't have a rash. No. <laughs> you can't not throw a barb. It's like, but oh, it's beautiful now. Oh, it's slipping. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, please don't. That was my prize. <laughs> it grants me visions of the future. <laughs> Does it? Where I can say the outcomes and offer suggestions. <laughs> like good plans, like assassinating the king. <laughs> We need that, Morgan. Don't break it. It's magic, Pamela. I swear I get my powers. She puts it back. You hear her put it back on the table, but I want to use Kenning to see if he's full of shit on that. About what? The dick crystal. That the dick crystal gives him powers. You know it doesn't. Okay, I think it is. <laughs> you know it doesn't. No role necessary. Okay. You know he's bullshitting you. It's just a, it's a crystal mine from, the, from I mean, that's what I figured, Northwest I Arkansas. Mean, yeah. I mean, but then again. Okay, there's... so Dan likes to give impart wisdom and give advice and all this stuff. But Dan, was, you're awfully quiet when we were discussing what we were going to do in Atlanta. It's your situation you'll have to deal with. I don't know what I would do. You want advice on that? I would tell them that they're bad people here. You're going to have consequences, but you're going to have consequences for anything you do. Mm -hmm. 
So this is probably uh, a good way to go about this then. There's no good way, except the one you know ends in disaster. And there's a fourth action that's doing nothing and throwing your hands up and letting them walk all over you. But you're doing that one already in some ways. At least that's the way people think about this town hmm. and this duchy. And, and then you can show, in yeah, my opinion, and this is just me being the creation of Morgan's mind, is that I would show them that I don't take your shite. And I won't anymore. That's what I would do if, if I was Morgan and I would put that crystal down and come down here <laughs> and not touch it and leave it there alone and I would say you know what the bird is right we have to fight for our freedom <laughs> that can take our lives <laughs> and he put in a kilt forms on him and a little yeah. blue picked makeup but they'll never take I'll you know the rest I don't have to repeat I'll take Christmas good one I like it thank you William Wallace anyway I have oh to she's go. downstairs oh see she she knows she knows that it's true what I said about fighting for their freedom and putting crystals down and not touching them. <laughs> She's just staring at him. Julio goes, Julio goes, you created him <laughs> to do this to you? <laughs> it gets rough in the mental hospital. And, uh, <laughs> no, he's, he's older. Oh yeah, he's been around longer. Than he's me. ancient. He's actually older than Morgan. So. But she created him. No. He thinks that. Oh. Got He's it. just saying that. Because, well, in all honesty, it's easier for him to say that uh, Morgan created him because otherwise it does put a bit of a target on him if people realize that they're that ancient and stuff. Here's the thing about dreams. You can change what reality is sometimes. And so maybe that's true. But in his mind, maybe it's not. You don't know with him. Yeah. I mean, he says a lot of bullshit, too. Yeah. Okay. So. Well. Which makes him an unreliable source of information. But you guys go ahead and go with the choice he provided you. Hey, we <laughs> did three omens. <laughs> I know, I, I do not throw much. another Dan suggestion in the mix because we will not come to a decision if you throw another option. Battle in. bears. <laughs> There's a lot of bears. In the mountains up here, little black bears. You go get one, you train it as a way cub, and you get a lance and you ride in the battle. And cl they can climb trees. Do we put lasers on their head? <laughs> yes. I saw that in a film. Little sharks. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Watch that one. I saw it with, um, what was it, like angry sea bass or something? Oh. Because they couldn't afford yeah. sharks. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's all right. <laughs> well, but they were ill-tempered. <laughs> and uh, Gail goes, "Oh my God, can we please make a choice? I'm dying." We already did. Yeah, I'm already just did. waiting to go. <laughs> okay. I'm just counting down the time till it's time for me to go. This okay. is what we do. I know. Okay. <sighs> Poor Gail. Just can, can you go early? Meet her early. I'll See goodbye. You. <laughs> Gail, are you coming to Atlanta with me? I don't think she should. Are you okay? Do I have to, do I have to go? No, do you, you don't have to go. No, it's okay. Do you, you need some tea? Okay. I mean, it's like seven years old, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go back there. Back there? Here's your tea. Thank you. I gotta go. <laughs> no, but she's, she's like slowly walking. Like she really wants wow. to hear this shit. And she's like, fuck, I have to talk to and, and now it's just kind of like, Morgan's just kind of pulling Huli upstairs because now it got real awkward. Okay. <laughs> so everyone's left except me and Gail yeah. now? Yeah, because okay. you were like, back there. <laughs> Dan's gone too. He knows. Okay, great. So He's I'm going gonna, to check on his Christmas. But I'm going <laughs> to... Then I'm gonna ask her, like, is everything? I just. Uh... <laughs> You're already gone. No. Leave the trot. Um. I... Look, that's the past. I, I lived there for for a time. I... I, I, I. We all have our reasons for being here. Okay, just don't. This is my home. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get this room. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna be. I gotta go. I'll think about it, okay? I, you don't have to go. I just want to know what information you have about that place that I can take with me to it's be a nest of vipers, and you don't want to get involved in that. Get in there, make your claim, get back here. Probably pretty solid of us. Okay. Wait, they're gonna make me ask. They're gonna make me have to do a presentation. Oh, like a grand. Oh, we have the evidence. Look here. That is so the, the four seasons landscape. Right <laughs> now, the most dramatic moment they can, because that's the nature of, of the she, and their grand gestures and their pageantry. What? 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 Morgan's <laughs> like, fuck it up, <laughs> hell. You're right. Yeah, but, Morgan's <laughs> already left. But, but Morgan does not like but the Varix, But Varix is flashing back right now. To his presentation at the Crescent Hotel <laughs> and his eulogy. Oh shit! She shouldn't have told him not. And oh, talking no, about no. Christ, and talking about telling everybody about her getting oh, pregnant fuck, fuck, and all fuck, of the other fuck. big showy things that he loves to do. You're like fuck. visibly sweating right now. Yes, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> or the or the Mac from it's always that's disgusting. Where yes. <laughs> where are these sites? Oh, <laughs> Morgan, uh, Morgan and she, upstairs. Hold on, I'm gonna roll for it to see if she notices. <laughs> that oh, I'm just God. like, yeah. uh huh, sure, uh huh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That sounds terrible. I hate it. Uh, oh fuck you! God did don't. Why? Gail, don't keep telling him don't. don't. Shut up. <laughs> now she's going to have to babysit him. Fine, I will. And then she just leaves. I'll shut up right now. And she just storms out. Uh, <laughs> uh, Can we hear that? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like convulsing from too much adventure and happy. Like, <laughs> what, what, like, what the fuck is wrong with You're you? You're fucking down there? <laughs> oh my God. That is probably what she, She's like, oh, stop it. She's like coming downstairs, like. No, like you this. have a flashback briefly in your mind. That's not the sound he makes. Ah! Yuck. She's. <laughs> <laughs> Swallowing that vomit back down. Oh, I got the hiccups now. <laughs> oh. She's. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Tell me what the fuck your problem is! I have to go to Atlanta. I have to go to Atlanta. I have to go right now. No, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop it. Meanwhile, we're going to take a little break while y'all collect yourselves. You make it. The, uh, was it a Jaguar? I don't know. Yeah. Yes. I think so. Black Jaguar flashes its lights. You and go I get. Over, and then you get. And off you go. Is it Karen? Yeah. Okay. No, for some reason. <laughs> what? The assassins agreed to kill Kate Mile. And we also have evidence. Are we telling her about the evidence? Yes. Yeah, I think we are. Because we're about to take it to yes. Atlanta. And we have a picture found in a locket that belonged to Giselle indicating that they had a very close relationship. And we are considering taking it to Atlanta. We, we have not decided to well we, you know, we we're, we're i'm not on my way there yet yes mm -hmm. and we're considering bringing it to atlanta we've looked into omens of this and we've seen that the best outcome for our duchy or eureka specifically is uh to send the fluid to assassinate him and back it up with this evidence She sits there in silence for an uncomfortably long time. You can tell she's thinking and focusing on the road. <clears throat> and your visions showed you what? Um, that Eureka will be looked upon with suspicion, but will be 
we will not go to war, <coughs> we will not uh, have casualties, we will need to be vigilant for the shadow court that may move against us, but in the power struggle we will not be um, ruled with an iron fist. She pulls over next to the waterfront in the river market. Turns and looks at you dead in the eyes. What does it cost you? What does it cost us? It costs what does it cost this Dutch? It cost me the reverie. Then do it. See you at the boat. No, you won't. Remember it. Supposed to be. Oh fuck! Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. I take that back. Rah, rah, rah. And we never spoke of this. Mm-hmm. And you will have my eternal gratitude. And this will not be forgotten if things go according to your mission. Yes. But know that this is a declaration of war that is not successful, and that votes won't matter at that point yes. if it is not. We should still vote for peace. Right? Yeah. I'm not going to change that. She starts the car again or puts it in the drive and (coughs) takes you back over to the exit. She says, do you have your vote now? Yes. What is it? Is she trying to trick me? No. Okay. (laughs) Peace. Do not show up to turn in your letter. I will take that in consideration. Okay. say shit to anybody about it. If this does not go well, the responsibility lies on you. Do you understand? I will not damn this entire duchy. I understand. If it goes well, you have my eternal gratitude. If it does not, I must deny the knowledge. See, that's Or it's a politician. Yeah, it's a politician. That ain't a hero. Well, I mean, she's got other shit to worry about. Bigger shit than me, so I She really Uh, doesn't. What? (laughs) She really fucking doesn't. Doesn't she do, like, the whole duchies and shit? Yes. There's a fucking Fomorian in Eureka. Uh, And we are about (laughs) to go to war. (laughs) She really doesn't have anything more pressing than that. Okay. Oh, I just meant, like, more... Volume area wise, than yes. that's all. that that's is all. accurate. Yes, that's what I meant. I didn't mean, but like... of importance, no, yes. that bitch does not. Yes, and yes, that yes, is yes, probably yes. why she's answering your calls. Yeah, I'm the leader now, bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good. Cool. Okay, goodbye, and Godspeed. Thank you. She pulls off. Okay. Off you go, down through the trod, back home. Okay. You keep you keep drawing it out. I'm like, is somebody gonna get me? Yep, or? I'm doing it on purpose. You fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Creating tension. Um, and Gail has left. Yeah, she mad at me. She mad. Mm-hmm. But it's her own fault. She did it. <laughs> and you two are upstairs. No, we went back no. down. Oh, back they down. Thought he was okay, that's a right. Seizure. Never mind. I'm like, why are you having well, a stroke? I kind of was having a seizure. And, and about 30 minutes or so, you're back. She just nods at everyone. Morgan's still trying to get what your damage is. She doesn't understand. Where's Gail? What, what was she upset about? Atlanta for? I don't know. Please tell me. There it is. She, uh, oh God. Here, she we used to work it. at the red light district and she has a whole lot of I clients said, tell, down there. I that... said, tell me. Oh, you're lying just because? Did she say tell me? Yeah. I yeah. said, tell oh, okay. me. I changed it right after. Oh, then I, he's doing that and you said, tell me. And I was like, oh, 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. She just told me that um, <clears throat> the uh, Atlantis filled with vipers and that they're probably going to want a big speech about what happened with the evidence. Mm-hmm. Big speech. Mm, oh. Lots of theatrics. Oh. Woo! Oh. Drama. Did she? A grand, drama, drama. A grand entrance. We will have to be wearing Damn. green stop. robes oh. and gold God. filigree Damn, on them. Stop! She and just, just at the perfect and moment. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's the sound. His beak is still closed. His beak is still closed. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> And he's like, huh? <laughs> she's she huh. got she's got she's got that beak like. <laughs> she's like, did she tell you not to do that? Oh yeah, she. D has her hand still out to indicate the beak is held at this point. By the way, wait, you said. Oh yeah, I did. I go ahead and start, and I'll I'll correct once I figure it out. She told me to fucking go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I see why she left. Okay. She may need to babysit him down there. It, <sighs> but I don't want to make her do that. She's his girlfriend? She can babysit him? Well, that seems kind of cruel to do to somebody. Look at him right now. He's not even there yet. <laughs> Maybe Julio should I'm gonna make have him swear the, an oath not to. I'm going to have the best time yeah. of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> no, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now. Just bye, bye. I'll no, see you later. My no. bag's already packed. <laughs> oh fuck! We're fucked. We're going to war. Julio just kind of takes a pen and uh, <laughs> starts writing. <laughs> I didn't shake on shit. <laughs> Getting the ve- da, 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 da. yeah. You promise you're not gonna do anything there. Wait, he's That's got he's got to turn the evidence over. No, you promise you promise me. You won't do anything theatrical. You won't do anything theatrical. Nope. <laughs> okay, you're gonna keep it mild and relatively easy, then, right? You're not gonna do anything grand. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Agree, or I'm gonna hit you with my sword. Uh, <laughs> the whole fucking outcome relies on this. You don't understand. <laughs> you made me sacrifice. It's time you made a sacrifice, Varix. If you agree to this, I'll let you uh, hand out baby shower invitations. You gotta try harder than that. <laughs> I'll let you announce wedding. You're getting there. <laughs> I'll let you walk me down the aisle. <laughs> Oh, now you're getting girl clothes. <laughs> I'll let you make. Oh no! I won't no, do that. no, Dan's like trying to regret. let get let go of his beard, uh, your his beak, because he wants to say something. I know. I know. <laughs> he might have He's a good like, idea. Dan, if you encourage him, I will break the dick crystal myself. Okay, let him go. And then she just says, You can be the pastor at the wedding. Oh. No, he has to take photographs. Nope. I'm doing it. I'm oh the pastor my at the wedding. <laughs> I wanted it to be legal. He can get officiated on the internet. That's how I did it. I'll just give him a fake one. I'll just do it while I'm in Atlanta. No. No. Okay, then I'm just going to make a huge show but, of it. But, 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 you have to do it with their vows that they want. And you have to do it proper. But you can wear a fancy clothes that everybody will be seeing you. But you cannot, can I wear white? <laughs> That's a joke. I mean, honestly, it's going to be a joke. Off-white either. It's going to be a joke when I wear it, but you know. <clears throat> and also, I'll go with you. Go with you on the town one night and we will get some money from people and you can be the star of your own magic show in the square. You'll be the David Blaine of Eureka Springs. (laughs) If 
fine. <laughs> so you agree to Julio's oath? No, this is Dan's oath. <laughs> I like Dan's oath a lot more. <laughs> Julio's is just intimidation. You swear t- on the freehold that we have a deal. This freehold isn't going to belong to you anymore. <laughs> you swear on the freehold? The people in the freehold right now. Oh. He uh, looks around. Eh. <laughs> fuck. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Great. Well then, if you don't do it, then your testicles will shrivel up and your little pecker won't work anymore and Gail's going to be right mad. She's already really mad. <laughs> well, madder. And also, you have to be a dog for a year and a day. Oh. Yikes. Uh, so you're a fixed dog for a year and a day. It's not the worst life, but... <laughs> no, but Pamela gets to dress you in fancy clothes and oh. take you on walks. Oh. Yes. Into the vet. Yes. Into yes. the vet. I think he's a large in a Petco sweater. I've been waiting. <laughs> You're going to be a bumblebee for Halloween just like me, Marix. If you fuck this up. God oh, one of the hide. <laughs> We're going to dress you Who's up my and use you for Christmas bee? advertisement. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Santa Paws, where are you? They have those rabbits that give the change. You're going to take the credit cards at the front and hand them to Pamela. <laughs> and that's going to be our shtick. And yes. we're going to make so much money. Okay, I'm not excited about this Atlanta trip anymore. Let's go. That's what <laughs> I wanted. Good. Excellent. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dog for a year. <laughs> or show out at Morgan's wedding. <laughs> or show out in front of all the Atlanta court. Yeah. <laughs> With the biggest fucking news drop of the century. But <laughs> but you get to show out in front of all their family members. Who, oh, whose family members? That's true. Ours. Uh, Whoever Leo's. comes to the wedding, theirs, I mean. I guess. Because that's you have more of their trust than the Atlanta people trust, so you're going to have way more fun fucking that up than fucking this up. That's you're true. More well and shit. You, yeah, because you're going to be breaking trust left and right. Yes. Yeah, but like, are there going to be like cameras there? Yes. It's a wedding. Oh, I, it's no, be no, I filmed. meant at the other thing. Oh, no. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't no. know. No. No news? I mean, they don't want to. No. no. You're not going to end it's up on the news. It's just for changeling. No, it's just for Cathane. Yeah. They're not going to put that on the five only. o'clock news. Yeah. There isn't like a. Ha- changeling TV. Spell Cathane? Is it K- 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 it's in a KNN or anything like that? No. Be. And it's on the. Other side of the Mississippi, so it's a W. Oh. Oh, is that the... Yeah. Little known fact, that's the dividing line. There you go. Why is it a W and a K and not an E? Hell if I know. FCC. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> well. I swore him to an oath, Morgan. Good job, Dan. He's my bitch. <laughs> I'll take that over Julio's oath. That's right. That's what I did it. Oh. Julio's nice. like, well, fine, if you want to be that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put in the trash. I did. It's Good. okay, Julio. You can I'll do an oath later. I've already got him on one. I'm yeah, you already one. got an oath on me, so you just be happy with what you got. <laughs> Man, we get to go look at pi- When did I go look at pictures? Tomorrow. Yeah, and we go look at pictures tomorrow, and you can't say shit. What? Well, oh, he's going to baby. Atlanta tomorrow. I'm going to go save our duchy. <laughs> he's not worried about the You don't know yet. Babies. You might fuck it up. That's what the whole oath was I'll for. I'll tell you what they are upstairs. I already know. Amazing. Text it to me. She just thinks that he's not misgendering them. <laughs> so she's not still... Didn't. Oh, they. Oh. Yeah. Oh? But it's... I mean, it's... You know, yes. he's trying not to say he or she, though. Yes, exactly. So she just thinks it's... You know... Yeah. He's referring Whore. to him as non-binary. Yeah. <laughs> right. Off to bed we go. We got a word to disrupt tomorrow. Pamela, you got to go mate with your uh, slimy, slinky little friend. Yes. 
And Julio's like, yeah, and we have a doctor's appointment. <laughs> oh, yay! And you have to go to Atlanta. Yep. I gotta do the big boy stuff. Excuse me! Well. I'm a big girl, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's all important. Um, how would you tell me how you're getting there? Uh, with a car? Oh, I. Well, then that'll work out, then, won't it? Because you'll tell. And then it'll be a few days before he arrives. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, could I still not in time? Hmm. <laughs> Off I go. Good night, Dad. And flies upstairs. Morgan, you cracked it! <gasps> I did not. It was already there. It's distinctly bent now. That's normal, man. That's not normal. Oh. That's not I didn't say It lends to the right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> ah, yes. Napping. Good luck, everyone. What are you going to be doing this whole time? Watching. Remembering. For the next time around. I'm proud of you all. That's a great good story it is. That's a great good dream to remember. Aww. Well. What do you mean by that? Off we go. What are you doing? You don't remember that episode of Game of Thrones where right before the big battle the, the Night King, they had the episode where everyone's like hanging out in Winterfell oh, and like yeah. re oh, reminiscing and like drinking real night. and, and drinking, awesome. drinking Starbucks. Yeah. And um, uh, is that what he's referring to? Well, he's, we're yeah. having one of those what moments right he's now. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. He's just saying something. I'm just, I know. Motherfucker's got four dots. We're about or five to... dots. He better be. We're about five to get... dots and what? He's gonna die. Uh, chimerical companion. Oh, I know. He can't die. He's been. He's ancient. He's gonna die. We're dying. We're going into the end game. Yeah, that's all. That, that's he's all. He's just being meta. He's just being yeah. meta right now. He's just saying we're dying. I don't know. Oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm slow like Morgan, we okay? Just a, it's just that we I have think... a plan for the final oh! for the finale. Like we know what we're doing now. Got you, got you. Oh, okay. Got you, curious. got you. Thank you, baby. Oh. I guess before they go to bed, Morgan's got to ask Julio about house stuff. Uh-huh. Since I mean, especially since we said we're going to basically be guarding this for Morian. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have to. It's not a requirement. I mean, we might be moving into Grace's house. I don't know what we're doing with that. Yeah. We may be You're, homeless. Y'all might have to move out tomorrow if the slew is like, get the fuck out. I know. I'm like, really? Kind of. He can't kick you out until he gets his his part of the That's deal. That's true. Done. He's got to actually do that. Well, he might ask right. for it. I don't know. So you're talking to him about that? Mm hmm. He says, after you give the pitch, we'll mm -hmm. just. Ah. <sighs> Let's make it through this, and we'll talk. I'm not opposed to it, but... Very Mass Effect romance uh, before the final battle response. Very good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Things are written into stories for a reason, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not played only but half of the first Mass Effect. Well, I'm in Dragon Age 2. So oh, there you go. Okay. Well, I've never played that one either. So. But there's a reason that tropes become tropes. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, we're in the middle of a big, you know, night before the big moment, mm -hmm. like trope like right. that's what we're in the calm right before the storm yes this is finish up your loose ends he's like let's just go to bed and he sits there holding you for a long time mm -hmm. you can tell he's not asleep yeah tight and before he falls asleep you know tells you he loves you for the last time at night he just says whatever we have, I'm happy. I want you to know that. Boy, Aww. girl, whatever. I'm happy. They, them, Zizer. <laughs> he might not know that shit. He was in prison for a while. And Dan goes, you'll be happy both ways. Oh! An intersex child! And then just, and then just continues snoring. 
<laughs> or pretending to. I don't know if I caught that. You might be Sounds sleeping. like it's going to be twins yeah. or something. All right. So, the night settles in from Pamela at 12.01 on the dot. Unbeknownst to you, you are visited. The fuck? You are visited in your dreams. You stand in an alley in Eureka. And a shadowy figure sits in the distance. And a familiar <clears throat> voice. Have you reached your choice? I nod. And? I nod again. I, like you, I accept your offer. Excellent. And then he disappears. And you are in the darkness of sleep. But when you awake, you remember vividly. And you know there will be no need to call. My schedule's cleared up. I don't gotta vote. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry in the reverie with some ice cream. So, when it comes to the Atlanta trip here, I mean, do we need multiple people to go to Atlanta? I don't think. I feel like the more people go, the more suspicious it's gonna look. And I know we're already gonna have suspicion. Right. But I feel like it would just have even more. I don't know. I just feel like one. Yeah, but if we're already like stand, if we're already like making our stand and it's like saying like this is it what like what is what are we worried about rising suspicions rising suspicions is worrying about suspicion and all that stuff is making it seem like we're trying to play two sides of it like we're trying to all like we're trying to have our cake and eat it too in a way whereas like honestly am, am i going there so am i going there under the guise and say like we're talking about this now it's sure the table. yeah yeah Am I going there and saying this is me? Or am I going and saying this is us? Mm, I thought we already decided it was us. Right. Yeah. That's well, why I'm asking <clears throat> would it what would it matter if there was multiple people going to this? All I, honestly all I'm concerned about metagaming or not is what the omen said whether it was you or if we if we change it up if something's going to go wrong. That's the omen never I'm... said one way or another whether I went or we went. We never asked specifically mm -hmm. okay. who went. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, more people the can go. The only thing that the only reason why I bring that up and this is a little bit out of character gaming wise, but Oh. oh. The big Are we getting Batman board slapped? that we've got. <clears throat> is this a situation where we might I'm need it. Are you going to write a new one? No. Oh, are you I'm not I just don't want no, I just don't want to leave that anymore oh. cuz I don't want that to stand. To stand and you guys being like, "Oh god." We all have to go to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Just letting you know. It's really up to your your choice. There's no right or wrong way in this situation. I'm just bringing it up just in case. I don't know. I just feel like call. if a bunch, maybe one other person could go, but not the whole group because then it would, I don't I know. I mean, we I can't like go. Me and Julio can't go. Pamela would rather not go because this could be the last time she has the reverie, but she'll go if you ask her to. Who, That's fine. Who are you thinking to go with you? Or are you just well, like, Well, honestly, one go? was possibly going to be Pamela because if you're going to be the leader of this area... Mm -hmm. Then, okay. Ooh, that's a point. Because there's a knock on the door. I open it. Standing there with a overnight bag, packed full, is Gail. Oh, hey. Now I want to go. <laughs> Someone's gotta keep you in line. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now I don't want to go at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Are we leaving? Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, you're going. I might. I know I there's... I thought you had business to attend to. I attended to it last night in my dream. Call him. Huh? Sure it was him. 
What? Are you serious? Okay. Yes. I, I will. What the fuck? I call him. Yes. It, you got my answer, right? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Trust that shit. Yes. When are you leaving? I did it before you called. How did? You... Is he full of shit? Can she roll bullshit? It it's was done. taken care of. I knew your trance it would be. I had to act. Okay. Um, At the thank stroke you. of midnight, I did it. Is he full of bullshit? I think he's telling the truth. She's just kind of stunned. She might say, like, when... When will you be here? I'll come to collect when the time is right. Like, do we need to be apartment shopping? Yeah, like, what do is... I... <laughs> I would probably be like... I was thinking about... I will give you notice. We shall discuss our arrangement. But for now, it's best that you forget this number. I was going to travel. Do you think I should stay, or should I go down south? Do what you will. Okay. Thank you. Don't call me again. Okay. <laughs> Just know this. I knew you would call, but why did you ask if it was done? You said your dream. Yes, you visited me. In my I do not have that power. She's oh. trying to remember what all she said in her dream. You just said I just nodded. You just nodded. You just nodded and said I accept. I will call you back. Okay. Someone. I guess he gets. Click. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Um, guys. Uh, my hands are sweaty. King Miles is probably dead right now. Uh, and he did not visit me in my dream. So. King. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. He, uh, 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 but he said he knew. And I need you to roll something for me. Jesus Christ! That's what I'm rolling. Give, Jesus Christ! Give me wits <laughs> plus kinning. All of us? No, her. Oh, okay. Difficulty seven. We're rolling Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Because it sounds no. serious. No. Okay. She's a little too shooketh right now. That's fine. Can she have a cup of tea and retry? No. <laughs> it's recalling your dream information about it. It was, in an it was alley just a in shadowy America. figure in an alley. Shadowy figure in an you alley. You said familiar voice, though. Familiar voice. Familiar voice. What other voices are familiar? That sounds like that. She can't roll to try to see if she recognizes the voice. Mm -mm. Fuck. Damn it. What about... I got some dream shit. I got dream walk. Dream craft. That's it. What um, cantrip family was that in? You mean... What is the, the ability? It's in, like art? nature, art. What's the art? Oh, I'm O'Neromancy. Okay. I just have the two dots in it. Sure, I'm, I'm going to look at something for you. I mean, all you... You just nodded, yes. I said I nodded and then I said I accept your offer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna ask Gail how she, why she thought of that. A feeling. Oh, okay. Cool. That something's not right. Something unfinished. I feel like there's something in my dream that I can't quite remember. Knuckle V. No way. Knuckleby. We haven't heard from him in a while. Do not say his name again. Oh, Christ. Beetlejuice. Was it Beetlejuice? It is bad. Two things in threes. Okay. Beetlejuice never clear. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guy. 
guy. I'm just trying to think of who else is dark and mysterious and. I mean, wouldn't she notice that it's a freaking horse yeah. <laughs> outline? Yes. Sorry. As you go horse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> plus, plus, I I didn't ever talk to the knuckle bee. No, no, it was not the knuckle. I mean, I did, but it wasn't. You know that no role necessary it definitely was not. I just think that that would have been too like. Yeah. It's like, Fuck Chuck. You, Sally. <laughs> Chuck. Really? <laughs> yeah. I just think it was probably. You have sent me on today of all days. <laughs> She does a little Italian hand gesture with it, too. <laughs> That's like, fine. I'm going to be in Atlanta. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Yep. Your phone your rings. Yeah. Hello. Yellow. <laughs> hey. Hi. Thought I should be the first to tell you. Milo's gone missing. No one's seen him this morning. And the, everybody's a flutter. Normally, that wouldn't be a big thing, but... Look at my hands. They're literally sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but... Wow. He's nowhere to be found, and from the looks of things this morning, it looks like his uh, something happened in his bedroom. There was somebody said that they maybe even found blood in there. What? And it looks like he made a run for it or something. I don't a know. A run for it? Yeah. Have you heard? I guess you haven't yet. I haven't heard anything about it. Oh my it. gosh! Well, I just thought I'd let you know. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a pretty crazy place around here right now. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I was thinking about making a little day trip up there, and we can, like, catch up and stuff, you know? Um, yeah. Come on up. Yeah. But, uh, know. just let me know when you get here, okay? I'd love to. It's just not something we need to be talking about, you know, nope, on the phone. Nope, that's or right. Anything, so. Um, bye. Bye. Okay, great. Bye. Maybe she at least okay, knows so she's going to profit. Atlanta knows that Milg's missing. Wink, 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 missing. So it's happened. Yep. Well, we need to get there. Did you pick up on what she said about the crime scene? He, he got went. Away. He got, he was went running. They think he might have ran away. So we don't know if he's dead or not. Actually, he might Zula actually straight up be done. missing. The slua left evidence. Remember, he also did a little thing where he told or didn't say anything to Milk about what he was going to do to you. And then made a little backdoor deal with you. Did I? Did we ever finish our oath, me and him? Or, or was that done by me saying I accept what that I thought? That was done by you saying you accept. So it but that wasn't him. So, so um, Grace, because <laughs> it could be a situation where you know, or, or either Mile got away from an assassination attempt and has gone missing into the shadow court or whatever. You know, it's gone into hiding, or he that assassin is playing us. I have a question. Just from, can, can we make a roll just from knowing what kind of assassin Mog will probably have? If that sounds like his work, or if somebody has gone in and dirtied something up, like, like maybe I, I he fa they work together. It'd be to difficult. Fake his difficulty death nine. You okay. don't have a, you don't have any information on the scene. And I don't know anything about his assassin. Said that it looked like there was stuff that foul play was suspected. Yeah. And it looks like there were signs of a struggle, and then he ran away. Okay. But no one sees him. I've seen him. Okay, I still want to roll on this. And yeah. See. What is it? Um, it is um, perception plus investigation. Okay. Maybe he. Maybe the has DID. And nine. <laughs> Can I spend willpower on that? Yes. Four. Okay. And we got this a glamour and a willpower true. back, right? He did. Okay. Yeah. Everybody oh. can mark. Okay, I'll just. If I get this. Off. Three successes. Okay. Um, I mean, you don't know particularly this assassin, but mm -hmm. if something went wrong, uh, maybe it wasn't as clean as he had hoped. Uh huh. Um, you had one job, dude. But he's also dealing with somebody who became the king for a reason. 
you know, and it's not always so smooth. But I'll give you this other little bit of bonus information. Mm -hmm. um, the last assignment Milok sent that you know of mm -hmm. was for him to assassinate her. That's yes. what I was saying. Yeah. That was the last thing he was sent to do. Therefore, uh -huh. if Mild suspected betrayal, he would want to look at the last place he was sent and start there. So we may have people coming to investigate. You may have already had someone come to investigate. In a dream. That just said, do you accept? Uh, that was to be a, go on a date with him. That's all. No, you see now what that was? was uh, That was my sneaky link. I mean, link. to be fair, that really could have been anything, and we're, none of us are that bright. I don't think that they should really take that. I'm just that giving you the ass. information that you would kind of glean. I know. I'm just... Because you're, you're not, but the character might put those things together. Yeah. No, I mean, the characters are not that bright either. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I don't, think I'm not saying you're not bright. <laughs> um, I think that um, whoever was in the dream, if they take that as a definite answer for whatever, that's kind of stupid on their part. Mm -hmm. Okay, if they spend five minutes even if, looking at us clowns. What if the person on the phone was the imposter? Because I said a lot more on the phone. One way or another, if there's an imposter, we have to go. Okay. Well, we can't all go. I don't care if you all go or not. I'm leaving. Bye. 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 I'm going to go save our asses. Bye. 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 Then, Bye. I, then I probably shouldn't be I here. I guess this is my name. Bye. We don't have a lot of time. Okay. We know I'm that... I'm going to the car. Yeah, Milg is going to... Pedal to the middle, Varric. He's going to fuck us up now. I'm coming with you. Okay, then. Bye. Can Bye. Look over Can the you give river? her five minutes to pack, please? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you can pack real fast. All right. Bye. Nobody look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very neat, like, suitcase organized. Yes, and I'm done. <laughs> okay. Cool. Go to we'll just stay All here right. and... Uh, and uh, go ahead. Good luck. I hope no one comes to assassinate you. I'm sure they will, but... Bite I up. trust you, too. Fight up the hordes. Bye. <laughs> Crawl if you need anything. And off you go. Atlanta bound. Oh, boy. Healing out in the driveway. Oh, yep. Honking the God. horn as he leaves. Get out of my way! <laughs> Julio's, what the fuck? That's his horn? <laughs> oh, shit! He heard it. He already he heard it. Wait, oh, he did? did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, did I, I, I don't, don't remember when if he, he had it. The first episode of this season. Oh, okay. <laughs> as right. he was leaving That's Barracks right. That's today. Right. Oh. Like, well, then he, re then he, I'm sorry, yes. Then, then he just rolls his eyes. Yeah, he's like, God damn it. Morgan's uh, making a little cute little unicorn post. <laughs> Should I do that? That didn't work out has too it, well. I was going to say, has it ever worked for you? Mm. Yeah. A little? It did work a little. Children-wise. I don't give a fuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of weird. All you gotten were kids out of it. Yeah, yeah because that's all that's all, left. Yeah, Morgan's I mean, apparently the oldest. In this area. In this yeah. area. Mm. So she... I don't know. I think. I, All right. Well, can rally. I roll to see if it's a good idea, or am I just fucking shit rally? Up? Rally the troops. Um, what I'll, are you planning to post exactly? How many dots do you have in wits plus uh, intelligence? Five. Okay. It hasn't yielded good fruit for you in the past, mm -hmm. and the two that you could call, you're going to have to go through their parents to get them to it. One's office. supposed to be coming down anyway. I know. I know. Okay. And, and you do know that she's coming. Okay. So, but it's still a couple days from now. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you could, but you, you don't believe you'll get much more than what you did. Especially seeing as you kind of political clout wise are still in the same position you were before. Yeah, it shouldn't matter how. I mean, the house I, should just. Go. I, I I don't know. But they're all little. <laughs> and where was Gondor? They were all under ten. 
And they were at the daycare. Yeah, they were at the fucking daycare. I probably got two in my freaking stomach right now. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to rebuild. <laughs> can only go nine months at a time. So off you go. The holiday road theme from National Lampoon playing in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It is like, like, Chris- it is like Christmas time. <laughs> Pamela chewing her nails and just doing a thousand yard stare. Gail doing who knows what. And Julio is like, I do have to go to work. Are you going to do okay? Oh my Christ. He's got to go to the doctor's appointment. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. You're not dumb. dumb. I'm a day ahead. I'm a day ahead. I'm in my mind. Okay, no. Doctor's appointment time. He lives another day. Doctor's appointment time. So off you go. (laughs) He lives another day. That's good. You're not getting killed tonight. Okay, he gets to go to work. Wow. It's Oh, Lord. Okay, anyway. Ignoring my brain. Um, So you both make your way to the doctor's office. Uh, It's time for the fun probe. She's like, excuse me. (laughs) What are you doing? And he's like, uh. Is that really? No. Yeah, if you want to know. Yeah. This is not like the TV shows. No. <laughs> sorry, ma'am. It, it very seldom is. But if you'll they can't show that on TV. Just make your way up there. We'll put a blanket over. And... All right. So. They're probably looking at Julio going, <laughs> why are you even worried about it? <laughs> So there it goes, and uh, they're looking around, and oh, there, there they are. She still isn't <laughs> because they don't yeah. think. Is it- and Julio's face goes like a lighter shade of blue, and, and he grips your hand a little, maybe too hard because he's troll strength. And he's like, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, there they are. John and Kate and, plus and A. You, you look over and. There they both are. Do they point them out? Because Morgan yeah, probably can't see. see. It's a little too early to tell right now the sex, but yeah, you got two little babies in there. <laughs> She's happy. She don't care. Aww. Helio sees little, um, tiny, 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 little thin little silver vines start to form, and Aww. little bitty baby flowers okay. start to okay. pop up. And he kind of pats your hand and and he's like, all right, yeah, good. She goes, oh, baby, we were never going to financially recover from one. And two doesn't matter. (laughs) He's going to faint. He's going to faint. Right, right. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. Julio's getting sympathy pains. (laughs) I told you. And of course she can't hear it. Yeah. She's, she's just, she's I'll, thrilled. I'll give you a hint. It's a boy and a girl. You get both. That's not a hint. One and done. One and she's done. She's like crying now because she's hormonal. But Aww. it's happy tears. It's not And the lady's tears. kind of looking like up at the top of the machine. Like, what are you looking at? You know, and like, okay, yeah. <laughs> she's praying to yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, it just, I mean, it doesn't bother her much. Yeah. She's yeah. She seen some weird yeah. reaction. Varric's already sniffed that out, by the way. <laughs> But um, because of his oath to Julio, he can't <laughs> say anything. Um, so, what are you going to name them? I have no idea what their names are going to be. <laughs> we got time to think of that. Dan yeah. and Barracks. <laughs> a boy and a girl. Yep. <laughs> Danica. <laughs> <laughs> or Veronica. And Daniel or some shit. I don't even know. She's just, she's happy. She's. Mumby and Jumby. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no on that one. Um, <laughs> Giselle. Shit no. <laughs> oh man. Giselle and Mom. Did I get pictures? Did I get the little ultrasound pictures? Yeah, you do. Yay. <laughs> One is Adrisin Wesna. The spear in the darkness. Whoa, that's cool. And the other is Saria Arwainus. The storm of silence. Whoa, they sound cool as fuck did already. You just say, did you just say our anus? Yes, it did sound like <laughs> Arwainus. 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 Yeah. Arwainus. 
arrow arrow anus. <laughs> and your house is the turning, and you're helping build them. Oh. I'm totally gonna be the mother to half the population of Eureka. Half <laughs> <laughs> the same population. And Julio goes. All right. <laughs> But you should know that it's a little difficult in that they're not autumn. Oh, they're Arcadian. Oh, fuck. I don't think Arcadian Skahar are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So I, I, that doesn't face Morgan like it would if, you know. Here, here's house. Uh, Fiona Arcadian is like, well, fuck. So... <laughs> Don't be angry at them. No. They chose you. Well, in And they chose your babies as the vessel to return in. Oh. But don't be angry at that. No. So here's what you recall. Uh -huh. Arcadians steal the body. Mm. They kick the soul out. Well, oh. that means that these souls that would have been in there are in one of the books or the wiki or something. It says that those souls go to Arcadia. Yeah. So it's not like... They're gone. Right. Yeah. And Dan's just telling you that preemptive strike, you know. Yeah. I mean. They saw something in you. I don't even think she would be mad. I mean, she's not knowing any different. Right. So. But they won't know for a while. Until they do one day. Oh, they're going to have a bitch of a time when they start. <laughs> well, they needed someone to keep them in line. Some ones. Do a good job. Well, how about some sweet breads? Yeah. She goes, we gotta do a photo shoot. Oh, why? Let's do a Lord of the Rings one. <laughs> With blueberries. All right. Because they're blueberries. There's two little blueberries. Yes. All right, then. Come on, man. Fill your boots. It's time to stand up, if you can. Help your little wife up. She carries no billet. <laughs> oh. And he's like, yeah, right. Wish we had that no bill any money, but, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Mr. Breadwinner, that's kind of your own you, isn't it? <laughs> She's like, well... They're not gonna. And the lady's like, "Okay, well, I'll just uh, <laughs> I'll let you get dressed and and uh, yeah, we'll have your your photos available for you in just a moment. I'll be back." Thank you. She's like, "Well, at least they won't be haughty, hot to like you know, right. prideful." Why do I feel like it's like you walk out into the waiting room and it just looks like the photos like at Splash Mountain where it's just like a bunch of people with their <laughs> yeah, baby babies going, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we better hurry up and get married. Uh, yeah, when we can. Yeah, I have to be the. I mean, you can't get <laughs> married busy. until I get back to. Yeah, until until I get back until somebody Atlanta. gets back to be the efficient, you know. Well, he can still officiate. Uh, yeah, I know. Not yeah. if I'm in Atlanta. No, 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 no. I mean, like they could legally get married and then you officiate like the ceremony. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's not. I want to do it right. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna I do mean, it right. And you gotta meet my family first. Oh, do they know I'm pregnant? No, they don't even know that we're seeing each other. Oh uh, well, that's uh... gonna be. Yeah. No, it'll be fine. Um, we probably need to take a trip to Texas too. Uh, yeah. I'm already got a little bulge right here. So I know, I know, I know, I know, but. So you're I'm right. a fuck up to him anyway, so it's it's all good. No, but you're not a fuck up. Oh, I'm trying, but tell that to my mom. I will. Oh, oh fuck. No, no, no. no, no. I, We're gonna have that, two wars. I meant that figuratively. <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay. Yeah, mild. I mean, don't mild don't challenge an Italian this. man. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> all right. Half all right. Italian, half Scottish. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, you know. I know. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Can we go? 
Can we get a burrito? Oh I knew you were going to Yes, of course. Of course. You get three burritos. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, He's regretting every life choice that led him to this moment. <laughs> so, you make it home. Mm-hmm. And... I'm going to get you to give me perception plus alertness. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Difficulty of eight. Perception alertness. Uh-huh. How many are you rolling? Hang on just a second. I'm rolling five and I'm spending willpower. Okay. Okay. What was the difficulty? Eight. Oh, one success. Okay. Roll for Julio. <clears throat> Julio pulls you back just in time, but doesn't have time to react enough the for the up. drop not to be on you both. What the fuck? There's a man holding his side, bleeding profusely, with a cut on his neck that he looks like has been pushed mud has been pushed into it, and holding a very ornate sword to you both is a man with a, a, a Arcadian. With a very well-groomed beard. It's mild. It's, fucking mild. it's mild. And he's like, in the house, you wretches. Slowly. And I'm invited in, aren't I? And that's where we'll leave it tonight. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry I left. But I kind of wanted to because I thought somebody was going to come to kill me. <laughs> Which you were kind of right about. Yeah. was not expecting that. He didn't actually cut us, though. No, but no, he's got but he's you straight. both yeah. at sword point. Yeah. Oh, my God. And she's in a food coma from three burritos. No tripod. <laughs> what? That's... She carries it with her everywhere. I probably, honest to God, went to the doctor. Yeah. I mean, in, in all honesty. Well, Dan, Dan, Dan's there. Dan He'll is there. So. Uh-huh. He can see well, Dan can fear him. Mm-hmm. And I will say... Ah, what the fuck would I have done? I just set him on fire. Uh, I mean, I guess we can invite him in, but... Well, so let me... We ain't done. We ain't done. done. Oh. 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 Because here's the deal. Look back back at the cart. Wait, we're not done? You just said that's where we'll end it. Well, that's where we'll end it, but I'm going to tell you why you're letting him in. Oh. Is it the knuckle No. Oh. He's a vampire. No, it's because he's... Yeah, and he does it. He is glamoring the hell out of you. Oh, for uh, Sovereign. Sovereign. Yeah. To where you're like, oh, yes, my lord. Oh. And Julio kind of says that before. Uh Uh-huh. Can even stop. Damn. And that's where we are. But that command was just to let him in, right? Well, yes. Okay. Yes, and we'll we'll discuss. I'm sure the chat will blow up. Okay. <laughs> tomorrow, and you can discuss your actions. But for now, uh-huh. that is where we're going to leave it. As you welcome the king of the kingdom of willows. Fucking Slua, you bitch. Into the reverie. He sucks. Yeah, he's, he's a very kinda, poor assassin. What kind of assassin. Now, it's probably the worst. You notice Milg is very pale. Mm-hmm. He's lost a lot of blood. Lost a lot. Of blood. <clears throat> Just keep him talking. I don't know. See, like what he like went through the through the trout and found. That was fast. Here. He didn't fuck about. He knew exactly where to go. Mm-hmm. He knew where to go because he knew the what, last what, place his assassin was supposed to be at. And he verified something. Now, here's. Oh, so he's a fucking ventriloquist motherfucker impressionist now. <laughs> So it's pretty easy to talk like this. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, take it from take it from B D Walters or whatever. But His name is. You mean, can literally just have half of your characters uh, kind of sound like this, <laughs> and everybody sounds like this. If all only the time. I had bothered deep cut, to meet cut. him. Sorry okay. if you guys like B D Walters, but. It's kind of true. Listen to his wraith and his vampire and his everything else. Now on G4. Here's the thing. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's on G4 and we're not, so. Yeah, well, and true. also, here's the thing. I couldn't make 
voices that are that distinct for everybody. Like, there's no way in hell. I all could my... probably do that because all I've had to do is do this voice for almost everybody that's a little bit mysterious and evil. I can't even do that one, so I can't say That's it. all he kind of does. What? I'm an evil slower. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Ah, yeah, and then and then, and then, and then you kind of stu- stu- you just kind of stu- 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 stutter a little bit on it too. If I get the chance, that's, that's, that's like a Julio may that's really called be meeting a character some t- 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 trait. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe uh, the Slua will be like my bad and come up and finish the job. I'm why sure did he, he fucking lie? lied. Why did he lie and say that he already did it? <clears throat> uh, a lot of questions. Yep. Or did he just think he did it, and then... Maybe he thinks he was successful. Remember, Fucking, he the king sucks. has a gash on his neck. Yeah, but he sucks. <laughs> yeah, what kind of assassin, what kind of assassin does... doesn't check? Because if he was going to disappear, Simple as that. he should have dragged his body somewhere. Well, maybe he it. did, though. Maybe, oh, maybe... There were signs of... They said signs of something happening. Yeah. So maybe the... I don't know. Maybe he left the body... Maybe he meant to leave the body there, and then he wasn't dead, so then he got away, and that's why it's signs of struggle and stuff. So the Slua thinks that he actually... He's not getting the reverie for this. He didn't accomplish his goal. Uh, that, that goal th- oh, that's for fucking yeah, sure! He didn't... Yeah, that's actually very true. Yeah. He did, He failed. That is yeah. exactly right. Because you... you're going to have to kill... <laughs> you're going to have to kill Miles. Well, I'm the only one who did an oath. Is that right? Is it one-sided? No, it's both. It's two sided. Well, it mm-hmm. said what would happen to me if I didn't do it. Right. Well, but that was the vision. There's not been a terms declared yet. Just that you're taking an oath. That right. You're agreeing to the initial term. Right. And since I, he didn't hold his end of the oath, I thought, which is to kill Mile. We'll have to see. I thought we'll have to see. Yeah. yeah. Unless he goes back because we because yeah, chat's gonna blow up on. Yeah. That. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. All right. So I'm not gonna ask favorite moments tonight. Um, instead, I'm going to give you all three XP, Yay. and I'm going to let you guys discuss amongst yourselves uh, post game um, about what you think and what's happening, and we will pick up next week. Kind of leave it on a cliffhanger. Until then, kind of, yeah. <laughs> until then, this is GM Tuck wishing you all the best and happiest of dreams. Good night, everyone.